Welcome back. Today I am with Barn Sprite number one, the first bug eye of the group of six that I got running. After I got this car running, I did drive it to a car show a week later, but there are a few things I want to take care of on this car to make it a better driver. So today I'm going to upgrade it with a Dynator, which is a alternator inside of a generator case which will keep the engine bay of this car looking completely original, but the charging system will be far more reliable than the original unit. Pictured here, I have an example of an original generator from a Sprite, and next to it is a Dynator. This is the way it comes. We will have to swap the pulley over. On the early Sprites, the tachometer is driven off of the back of the generator, and the Dynator is also provisioned for driving the tach off the back of it. You can get a lot of different brands of these. Here I have one from Powerlight, and Wasp also makes them. They do come with a pulley, and it's a much smaller pulley, so you will have to get another belt in order to install one of their units. And no matter which unit you get, you are going to need one of these dummy regulator boxes. This looks like the original regulator, but inside of it is just a fuse. We have a spare fuse zip tied right here. And this eliminates the entire regulator because these alternator generators are internally regulated and do not need an external control box. First, we need to get the old generator out so we can get the pulley off of it. You can see the tack drive gearbox on the back here. So we need to disconnect the tack drive as well as two wires that are on the back of it. Just need to swap the pulley over now. There's some tape on the shaft to hold the key in. Make sure you take that off. The nut on the new shaft is a different size than the original, so you will need two sockets. My recording stopped in the middle there, but what I did, this fan and pulley were on this one. I put the nut at the top of the shaft. I tapped on it with a hammer. The pulley fell off, then I moved the fan and pulley to this one. I spun the nut back onto this one and then put some tape on the key so I don't lose it. Now you just reinstall the dynator just like the generator was originally held in there. And by the way, I should mention this is much, much lighter than the original generator, probably by a third. The dynator is installed. The next thing we need to do is replace our original regulator with the one that just has a fuse in it. So I'm going to take this one loose Disconnect all the wires, connect them up the same way to this one, except we will need to be moving one wire. But I'm going to transfer all the wires just the way they are to this one first, and then I'll show you which wire to move. I have all of the wires switched now. Now what I need to do is take this little wire off of the D terminal and move it to the next one over to the F terminal. This is our wire for our ignition indicator. And we need to move that so that it's connected to the other terminal on the dynamator compared to where it was on the generator. I have it moved over. Now I can bolt the regulator down. All right, regulator's bolted down. We have the tack connected to the back of the dynamator. And then it has the two terminals just like the generator did. The small one has been moved over to the side. You can see it there. And then the big one is in the back. Let's start up the car and make sure everything works. If we turn the key on, we can see the ignition light does come on. Let's start the car. Ignition light went off. Our tachometer is working. Now let's go check the voltage. I have the leads for my voltmeter connected across the battery. Let's turn my voltmeter on. And we are at 12.3 volts. Let's rev it up a little. This car's been sitting for a while, so it'll probably take a little time for the battery to charge up. Looks like Barn Sprite 1 is ready to hit the road again. And let's go drive it right now. No better way to test out a new charging system than to go drive it at night. <laughs> 